Can we make the perfect loop show lunch? I think we're gonna need a little help. Hang, Hang on, on for the loop. loop. Four, three, two, one. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. Ricky, who would you say has your back? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, well, whenever you face big obstacles in life, who would you say you can trust to always have your back? Um, I'd say my family, mm -hmm. my friends, mm -hmm. uh, you in the Aww, group, of course. Thanks. Uh, yes. God. Yeah, yeah, knowing that I have support kind of helps me to be more gutsy. Uh, how about you? Yeah, I have a big entourage of people that give me confidence, like my friend Kelsey and my big sister Jennifer and my friend Kenny, and oh, I could just go on. Aw, that's great. <laughs> See, yeah. courage takes trust to know that you won't be abandoned when you face a challenge. <laughs> Whoa, look at that, you said challenge, oh. and then there's a challenge card. <laughs> okay, it says, huh. It just says Lunchbox Dad is here. He knows what to do. Hi, Whoa. I'm both a Lunchbox Dad, and I make fun character-themed lunches for my kids to take to school every week. And then I put the recipes online to help inspire other parents to do the same thing. That is so cool. <laughs> awesome. Do you work with nuggets? I've been known to dabble. Hi, I'm Noah, and this is my segment called Nuggets with Noah. I'm here to serve up some knowledge. I'm not a waiter or anything, but, you know, nuggets. Who is the gutsiest person you know and why? Probably Batman, because he's going out there fighting these super beings like you know, Superman. The only thing he has is money and athleticism. That's it, it's all he's got. And he beat Superman. How can I have guts when I'm afraid to do something? Well, that's a good question. Like if it's something dangerous, obviously think about the consequences. But if it's something like public speaking or anything like that, just don't think about it. Just go out and do it. Just, just do it. Just, it's like eating a chicken nugget, you just do it. What is the boldest sauce for nuggets? There's a lot. You got ketchup, you got mayonnaise, you got barbecue sauce, cheese. You can put cheese on your nuggets, it's like nugget nachos. But I think the boldest sauce, equal amounts of ketchup and mayonnaise, and mix them together. That is the boldest sauce. I call it awesome sauce. In the book of Genesis, there are stories about a man named Joseph. He faced all kinds of obstacles. This is Joseph's life in a nutshell, or in this case, a lunchbox. He was born in Canaan to Jacob and Rachel, and he quickly became his dad's favorite. Jacob loved him so much, he gave him a coat of many colors. That colorful coat in Joe's wild dreams made him a target for his older brothers. They weren't just jealous. They hated him so much, they wanted to murder him. Don't worry, they didn't murder him, but they did sell him as a slave to some people headed to Egypt. Not cool. Then they lied and said he was dead. Super not cool. In Egypt, Joe became a trusted servant to a guy named Potiphar. Potiphar's wife tried to seduce Joseph, but he refused. She told lies about him and Joe was thrown in jail. In prison, Joe met two men who used to be close to the big guy in charge, Pharaoh. Joseph helped them to interpret some dreams in hopes that they would put in a good word for him when they got out of jail. They promised they will, but they don't. Finally, a break in the clouds. Joe is called to interpret a dream that Pharaoh has. It goes well. Joe rises up in the Egyptian ranks. He gets married, has some kids, and helps save Egypt from famine with his superhero saving skills. Oh, and through an incredible series of events, he reunites with his brothers and his dad who thought he was dead. You should read that part in its entirety, it's great. In fact, if you want the whole enchilada, it's in the book of Genesis. It's a highly recommended read if you have trouble courageously trusting God is in control. Because throughout everything major in Joseph's life, death threats, slavery, false accusations and imprisonment, God was still faithful. It wasn't easy, 
but God was with them. God had him covered. And in the face of every obstacle, Joseph never let go of God. Do you have my back? I got your back. Does Bo have our back? We're about to find out. Okay, here's how this challenge works. Bo is going to teach us how to make our very own Loop Show Lunchbox meal. But we have to listen well because we're gonna be back to back while we create it. And we only have 10 minutes. It's the back to back Lunchbox Challenge. Let's go. <gasps> Woohoo! I'm right. so excited. Okay. All right, guys, take the lid off your Loop Show Lunchbox. And I'm not gonna tell you what the theme is of this because we're gonna have you guess along the way. Okay. So first of all, take some blueberries and cover the bottom of the main compartment of the lunchbox, the biggest compartment. So you don't need a ton, just enough to cover that bottom, okay? Take some bread and use the circle cutter that you have in front of you and punch out a circle of bread. Take a second slice of bread and do a second circle. So you guys got two circles in front of you? Yes. Yes. Perfect. All right, take the scraps of bread and move them off to the side. Unwrap a piece of the orange cheese. All right, so you have the orange slice of cheese in front of you. Cut a circle out of that as well. Okay. All right. <laughs> so put that circle on top of one of the slices of bread, and then you will want to take a piece of the lunch meat out of that huge mountain of meat that is on that plate. Yeah. And uh, do one more circle cut out of that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I like it already. And then put that second circle of bread on top. Oh cool, we made a sandwich. There you go, coming along there. All right, you guys ready for the next step? Ready. All right, let's do this. Okay, now you're gonna take the uh, heart-shaped uh, cutter and we are going to cut out a few different slices or uh, pieces of heart. First, we're gonna stack the sandwich on top of the blueberries the in the lunchbox. On top of the blueberries. And then you're gonna uh, take one heart and put it uh, at the right-hand side of that sandwich with the uh, bottom of the heart sticking into the sandwich. Then you're gonna take another heart and put half of it on top uh, inserted into the sandwich in the top part, so only half of it is showing. Okay, so the first heart, I put the bottom of the heart underneath the sandwich, was that correct? So um, in the middle, it could be sticking in the, in the middle, middle of the sandwich, yeah, like where the meat is. Oh, okay, great. Yep. All right, and then the other one. And then the other one could be sticking in where the meat is as well, but on top with like half the heart sticking out of the top. Got it. And then the third heart, you're gonna stick one? in the left-hand side of the sandwich, but with the, um, with the top of the heart sticking out. Like now, that. you should have a fourth heart. You're gonna stick that right on top of the sandwich with the uh, point, like the bottom part of the part, heart <gasps> pointing to the left. I think we're making a fish. Oh, that could be a good guess there. Yes! All right, and then take a, whatever blueberry you want, break a toothpick in half, and you're going to stick the toothpick into the blueberry and kind of uh, poke that down through the white cheese in the middle. So just hack off a piece there. Sure. However big you want. And then we're gonna take that star cutter, use that on there, and we're just gonna do two or three um, star shapes. However much you guys wanna put in there. Two stars. And then we're gonna put that under the fish. We're gonna take the yogurt, that's at the, uh, you should have a bowl of white vanilla yogurt there and dark blue um, food coloring. Put some food coloring into that yogurt. How many stars are we making? I or use two. Great. Very and nice. then you're gonna take granola. Once you've mixed that blue food coloring into the yogurt and you're gonna dump that into the upper side compartment, some uh, granola there. And then you're mm. going to pour the blue yogurt on top. And then you're gonna take one of those gummy fish mm -hmm. and put it kind of sticking out of the ocean there like the fish is jumping out. Oh, fun! All right, so we have one last side compartment left. This is gonna be um, a really fun part. This is one of my favorite things to make. So we're gonna take the rice that's already cooked, the brown rice, and we're going to spoon that into that other side compartment. It's gonna be a little bit messy, but that's okay. And then you're gonna need some of these snap peas and you're going to need about three of them. Oh, and then you're gonna cut them in half. 
you're gonna cut two of them in half. I'll be very specific. Cut two of them in half. Then you're going to put them, lay them on top of the rice. Then you will cut one more snap pea in half. But hold on to that for a second. And then go dig into that broccoli bowl. But uh, make sure that the stem is cut pretty low. So it's mainly just that head of the broccoli. But we're gonna finish off the lunch by putting uh, that last snap pea pointed towards the yogurt. And then put the broccoli on top of the snap peas. And it should look similar to a sea turtle. Yay! And with that, we're done with our lunch. We have uh, ocean with a little gummy fish in there. We have a fish sandwich, some starfish cheese, and a turtle. Yay, I love it. Okay, so when we come back, we are going to compare our lunchbox to Bo's and see how they turned out. What does it look like to know someone has your back? For me, I look at some of my really close friends and I know that they're gonna have my back now because they've had my back before. And that made me think of my rear view mirror. Whenever I'm driving, of course, I'm looking forward, making sure I'm going the right direction, but I'm also looking up at my rear view mirror, checking out where I've been. I know you're probably not driving yet, but next time you're in a car, I want you to look at the rear view mirrors instead of looking out the windshield, because I think it'll give you a different perspective on where you're going, because you'll be able to see where you've been. And that's kind of like our walk with Christ, right? Sometimes we can look forward and see where God's leading us, but the biggest proof of his faithfulness is whenever we look back at what he's done for us in the past. We can look back on the really exciting times or the really hard times, and we can see his faithfulness through it all. Let's talk about Joseph. He was a pretty gutsy guy. He had a lot of really bad things happen to him, but through it all, he remained faithful to God because he knew that God was gonna be faithful to him. He could have easily said, nope, I'm out, I am done with this, but he didn't. His attitude was more like, if giving up complete control to God is what courage costs me, then that's what it costs. Throughout all the really bad things like jail, slavery, rejection, Joseph never gave in to the fear that God had abandoned him. He continued to courageously hold on to God. He put his confidence in God and who he was created to be. He remained a man of honor and trusted that God's strength would get him through whatever he faced next. His faith and courage grew in every single setback. So be like Joseph, be gutsy, have confidence in who God has created you to be. And every once in a while, take a look at your rear view mirror of your life and see how God has been faithful to you. And we are here to show off our Loop Show Lunchbox meal. You ready? I'm so excited! I'm ready. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, oh wow. yay! Oh, I see. There oh, we go. I see. Yes. Okay. You guys did oh. a really good job. Thank Thanks. you. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah. yeah, and I thought that we needed a smaller, um, I thought it was gonna be a crab. Okay. And so I thought it needed to be a smaller uh, shell, but yeah, it would have been be better if we'd used a bigger one. Yeah, and your yeah. fish looks much happier than ours. <laughs> you guys did a yes. great job, though. It was hard to explain the the lip part of the fish, but you yes. guys did, did perfect. Yeah, so. yeah. Maybe we should have gone inside of the little saggy lips, but <laughs> that's okay, I suppose. These are starfish, right? Yeah, starfish. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. so fun. I love the idea of the blueberries back there as the ocean. That's really good. You get your fruit and your vegetables yes. and some grains and, and your yogurt and a little bit of dessert in there. That's wow. so great. I love it. This was so much fun. Thanks for, for real. Thanks for having me on to do it. I had a lot of fun too. Yay. Well done, Ricky. Yay. Well done, well done. Good job, you guys. <laughs> awesome. When I am afraid, I put my trust in. In God, whose word I praise, I will trust and not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? What can mere mortals do to me? When I am afraid, put my trust in What does courage cost? A big, bold trust that God is with us, letting go of our control for the never failing strength of God. It's what we call faithfulness. 
We will face big obstacles, but God is bigger. As we trust, God blesses us with confidence. Do you want gutsy confidence to be able to face whatever obstacle comes your way? Be like Joseph and trust that God is in control. Nothing is too hard for him. He's always got your back even when things seem tough. Put your trust in that. Let that be your foundation. Yep, you'll have the guts for any challenge. Thank you so much, Bo, for joining us today. Yes! Oh, yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, this was so much fun. This definitely inspired me to be more creative when creating my lunches. That's awesome. Thanks for having me hang out with you guys. Do I get to help you sign off? Yes! Absolutely. Here right. we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Enjoy, Enjoy the ride! ride. That was so fun. Definitely. Mm. Man. Yeah, I'm going to have mm. to invest in some of these, like the little shapes. This is great. This makes it really easy to do the, all the cutting and stuff. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. I love the challenges where we get to be creative with food rather than eating really gross food. And there's another episode where we got to do that. That's right. It is called Not My Arms Challenge. Check it out right here. Have you ever had to do a, any kind of crazy challenge in the kitchen? Uh, not that one, but I'm going to check it out. <laughs> check it out. And don't forget to subscribe.